This Sunday, November 12th, is National Happy Hour Day, which means you don't need an excuse to belly up to your mm -hmm. bar, your favorite watering hole. We associate happy hour as, you know, a work respite kind of. Yeah, yeah, but it actually started with the U.S. Navy as a morale booster with boxing matches and dancing and drinking on the USS Arkansas. Now, the booze was snuck on board. They weren't supposed <laughs> to have it. Now, after World War II, Happy hour specials were used as bait to attract customers when the economy was booming. All right, so the tradition continues to this day, and for today's Thirsty Thursday, who are we spotlighting, G? We are spotlighting a craft cocktail bar called Scofflaw, and this isn't a measly happy hour menu. Okay. This is like the good stuff Ooh. that costs $8. Awesome. People are always asking me for a great happy hour, and this one's my favorite because it's their actual craft cocktails and they have it every day. Scofflaw is a cozy, gin-focused neighborhood cocktail bar. We're 11 years old. We are in the a questionable, you know, a debatable neighborhood location. It's either Logan Square to some, Humboldt Park to others. We wanted to do a gin cocktail bar because we were all very fond of gin. I still feel that gin is the most versatile spirit for cocktails because it lends personality, but it can also play around with lots of other flavors. The food is great. We're getting some recognition for the food program, which is uh, largely a result of our chef, Fred Chung. There's a butter chicken, which it seems like you love, um, as well as like, you know, a fire chicken and scallion pancake. We always have like a burger, fries, and charcuterie on the menu, but aside from that, it's kind of fair game to mess around with. Long story short, the food is changing all the time, always evolving, kind of re seasonally reflective. The cocktail menu changes about four times a year, depending. The menu is just a reflection similar to the food program, like of where the bar team is. And yeah, so we have things that are like refreshing, shaken, probably citrus driven. And then we have things that are like stirred, boozy, or maybe more bitter. Sometimes the two things are blended. You can have something that is shaken and refreshing, but also like super bitter. You know, a drink that is pretty cool on the menu right now is called the Water Sign, and that is a, a Becca Peterson drink. And basically, she took this, this gin, Grey Whale Gin. She clarified this lime. It's shaken, but it's clear. It's like a clarified drink over a big ice cube with a nasturtium garnish. And that's just like a, a favorite drink. I think our hope is that they have a great experience. They feel welcome. They have well-made drinks that demonstrate gin in a new light or just execute a classic cocktail really well, which is like what the happy hour menu is all about. Basically, when we opened the doors in 2012, everything was $8. So doing the happy hour menu and having things priced at eight is kind of like a reference maybe a call back to that earlier time when we first opened our doors. I finally made it back behind the bar. Dave, yes. this is one of your favorite drinks. Welcome, it's, G. Yep, called the... 20th Century. And it's on the happy hour menu. It is on the happy hour menu. Okay, so what goes in it? Okay, so we've got an ounce and a half of Martin Miller's Here. London Dry Style Gin. Yep. Goes in. Then we've got the uh, Jaffard Creme de Cacao. It's a clear chocolate liqueur. Then the next one is Coqui Americano, which is like a more bitter version of Lele. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is fresh lemon juice. So we're gonna add that all together. Okay. Then we're gonna ice our big tin. Put ice in here? Yep, ice in the big one. The big tin? Yep, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. That's enough? Yeah. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too much? Yeah. Can I pour it? Wait, how does this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's like, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, love is that it. good enough? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. All right, All right. so then You'll let's flip this. That one. Yep. I pour this out, it's been icing. Yep, and then we'll grab one of those strainers. Beautiful. And just, yeah, from the top, and then strain it into there. And why do you love this drink? What? It's just such a weird combination of ingredients that taste so good together. Um, there's like gin and chocolate and coke americano, just like a fortified wine. It's kind of honeyed and then lemon. It's super bizarre in sound, um, but in flavor, it's delicious. Oh man, it's pretty indescribable. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's so but very strange, soft yeah. in the mouth too. Yeah. It's pleasant to drink. There's a little hint of chocolate. There's a tartness. It all works together somehow. It's refreshing. Yeah, it's no reflective. one ingredient yeah. kind of like takes over. Okay, what I love about Scofflaw is the happy hour menu is, there's no like well cocktail. No, no, like, it's you know all legit. It's legit for $8, okay? Right. And then on top of that, all these gins, if you want to explore gins, 
There's over 100 gins here. There's definitely a gin for you out there. And if you want something really Chicago, you can do Malord on Tap. That's right. Since day one, <laughs> Malord on Tap. Yeah, because this is a working class neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, right, on the, the corner. People. It's for the people. Yeah. And if you make it to midnight, there's a special treat. Chocolate chip cookies at midnight, every night, freshly baked. It's been a long time since I've made it to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Yes, I've been there <laughs> in, in the years past where yeah, it's been that's midnight. So cool. And hot, gooey chocolate chip cup. It just on the house. They just pass them out. That's like when you're at a wedding and the, I, the night food comes and you're like, exactly. oh, they got pizza. <laughs> exactly. You're, yes, the snacks. <laughs> so cool. Um, kudos to our shooter editor, Josh Troyer, for yes. putting that together. Um, the vintage cocktail that I learned to make there is called the 20th Century. After the 20th Century Limited Express passenger train, now it would travel from Chicago. Chicago to New York City from 1902 to 1967. So Sarah, it was basically the equivalent to a first class red eye that had a dining car that would then convert into a nightclub. Ooh, so how cool is that? Very cool. All right, so happy hour at Scofflaw is from 5 to 7 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. Uh, only day you don't have it is on Fridays and you can get classic cocktails for eight bucks as we mentioned. Very cool. Nicely yep. done. Thank you. <laughs>